behind him is not fervent. These are individuals that are largely motivated to get President Trump out, not motivated to get Joe Biden in as president. And I think that has a significant impact when you're talking about the swing states in which Muslim Americans will have an impact on the vote. The states you mentioned in the introduction, a Michigan, um, a Illinois, uh, uh, Virginia, uh, and Pennsylvania, those states will have an impact. Muslim Americans will have an impact. And I think what you might see is you might not see Muslim Americans uh, siding at the end for Trump um, and against Joe Biden, what you might see is Muslim Americans, instead of voting for uh, Joe Biden, simply not voting at all. Mm. And, you know, we say we've also had, right, Ilhan Omar and Rashida Tlaib, and they, they've come out, and I'm speaking more about, you know, foreign policy issues now, which, of course, I imagine are of great importance also to Muslim Americans, along with the, the very important, more domestic issues. Um, speaking about Palestine, for example, right? Now, uh, doing things which, uh, or saying things which were unheard of to an extent, right, within U.S. politics, where it was done very blatantly and openly, and, you know, they still very much have their supporters, and certainly a lot of their critics also. Um, what does that say about where Muslim Americans are now? Uh, and have they found their place, proper place, do you think, within American politics? Definitely so, Wakar. Uh, the level of civic and political engagement now among Muslim Americans uh, is far more mobilized. It is far more organized. Organizations like, for example, M-Gage, with their million Muslim voter drive, uh, engaged in many of the same kinds of strategies, uh, the same kinds of tactics that uh, other uh, organizations, other uh, demographic groups uh, will undertake. Uh, phone banks, uh, I guess now they would be text banks. Uh, really getting out there and trying to get the vote, getting people motivated, getting people energized, uh, along with getting commitments that people will move from being ambivalent to a uh, registered voter to likely voter, and then actually getting into the polling booth either on election day or even preferably for some uh, before that where early voting and absentee ballot is 